Here we are in the cul-de-sac of a private estate at the end of a boomed off road and one of the most exclusive roads right here in Hyde Park. Behind me an 18.9 million rand four bedroom, four and a half bathroom home that is inspired by French contemporary architecture. Join me as we take a walk through this home. My name is Chad Viveros. This is the Private Property Home Shoppers Show. Welcome home. Coming through these huge double doors, you could easily feel like Cruella hunting down some Dalmatians because you find yourself in an entry hall that really does easily take your breath away. Surrounding me on all four sides are living quarters with above me being a fully enclosed area for the top three bedrooms all with in-suite bathrooms. But we need to start right here with these living quarters and coming through this pocket door we are here in the first living area. Above me the ceiling is dotted full of down lighting as well as speaker systems that we've seen in many homes before. This home as well does come with a central speaker system. As you can see on all the walls every single room in this home has its very own unique wallpaper that does give this home quite a cool flair and unique touch. On my right hand side the wall is fully open for you to look out onto not only a stunning garden but also a patio area that definitely is an entertainer's dream and right here on my left has to be the first fireplace we've come to and this is a nice gas fireplace above it a place for you to mount your TV. Another two pocket doors open up side to side leading you into your dining room area. An eight seater dining room table dominates this room giving you a good idea of just how large it is and above that dining room table you find your chandelier dangling really making a cool statement piece. This room much like your living room area has one wall dedicated to a sliding door as well as a window leading you out onto that incredible guys when I say incredible I really do mean incredible incredible garden not only with ponds but also swimming tools and dotted around with trees that we're going to tour in just a moment but behind me I'm sure you guys can see is the kitchen but we're first going to head off into this breakfast nook and this is where you get the first taste of the stunning plantation shutters that dominate the windows throughout this house all of the plantation shutters are light in color which makes a really good contrast to the dark aluminum windows that you see around me but also reflects light very very nicely so it gives you all the light you need without letting in any harsh sunlight again this breakfast nook has space for this four seater table right here and just above it once again is a really cool dark centerpiece chandelier hanging down i love all the windows here letting in all that light and also giving you a taste of what this garden area feels like so we know i'm, I'm personally very excited to show you that in a bit but right Right now we need to talk kitchen, let's head into it and take a look what it has in store for us. And now leaving the breakfast look behind us we find ourselves in the main kitchen area and just like we whip these videos up for you every Monday and Friday this is exactly where you're going to be whipping up meals for all of your guests. Right in the center a floating island with Caesar stone countertops below it plenty of under counter storage and a staple in every single one of these homes that we do is you need to have your chef's sink. So here it is front and center with a beautiful gleaming tap but what I'd like to know in the comments is what is your favorite appliance in this home. For me without a doubt it has to be the built-in 
Siemens coffee maker right here out of the way and in this beautiful dark wood cabinet space on the right for a double door fridge and on the left you've got your double oven affair you've got not only your microwave oven but also your conventional oven both of them being Siemens and talking stove we've got an induction stovetop cooker right here as well as gas for those times when power just isn't available as you can see the owner's got one of those beautiful whistling kettles on it so you know tea is always going to be a thing that you have access to below another oven right over there again Siemens Siemens extractor fan just above that and talking about above we've got a beautiful skylight letting in a lot of that natural light and again all of those stunning cream plantation shutters surrounding this kitchen which I think is absolutely amazing I love the dark wood in this kitchen and all of the cupboard space it really is such a cool thing to know that storage is never a problem but talking about storage talking about washing up finishing those dinner meals right here we find ourselves in the pantry slash scullery area. So pantry is right here behind this door, space for all your dry goods. And this is a scullery double sink, which is so, so important when washing up. I think all of us know just how cool it is to have access to all of these sinks on my left. If you do need space for another fridge, if you are a big connoisseur, or should I say, if you are a big entertainer, this home has got that for you. But talking about fridges, we've got a walk-in fridge right over here, two fridges built in, and that's perfect for all of you wanting to chill your wines, chill your champagnes, it's right over there and it is built in. More long cupboards on the right hand side and those are again framed with all of this beautiful dark wood and then space for all of your appliances underneath but maybe washing up made you build up, build up a sweat, maybe you need some time to kick back, relax and enjoy the tranquility this home has to offer while well, through this beautiful glass door leads you out onto an outside area that is literally dominated by not only greenery and beautiful vines snaking up the wall but also that fountain and the noise that fountain brings beautiful grey noise letting you relax and take a look at the stunning flowers up there it is a garden to die for but gardening does lead me to one other thing is when we find ourselves back in the main area we find these double doors that open out onto another fully enclosed enclave that is dominated by greenery you've got your own private garden here with a central fountain and behind it a mirror that makes that area look twice as big but yeah we are stepping through another door and coming on to almost the guest wing of the home this could easily become a gym an office or an area for you to relax like a pajama lounge right here we've traded those stunning tiles for dark wood floors plantation shutters again on both windows and both of these open up and let you out onto your parkade above me some down lighting beautifully framed roof or ceiling area and then we've got an aircon right there for those hot South African days and off here in the middle you can see just how big this lounge area is we've got a door there that leads outside onto the parkade so if you do have guests coming if this is going to become a guest wing they've got access to this room without having to go through the main home so that's a really cool feature but that almost wraps us up for the downstairs area we have to show you that garden we've got one more dining room area to talk about and then it's time to look at the bedrooms come with me let's take a look coming down this hallway almost back to where we start in that entry hall on my right hand side is your guest bathroom beautifully situated to service all your guests let's take a look your bathroom area has got a beautiful and very very large central sink floating on another piece of dark wood with Caesar stone countertop above it an absolutely massive mirror giving you all the viewing that you'd ever need and then on the right hand side tucked away in the corner beautifully is a hidden cistern with your toilet floating off and then that soft close lid now with the bathroom done, we've come full circle and find ourselves once again back in your entry hall. But this time we're going through these stunning double doors to find ourselves in one of the most well-equipped patios or outdoor areas that we've ever seen. You can see space here for not only a dining room table, but also a full-on outdoor seating area above us, more of that stunning down lighting. And again, a really cool thing to point out is the speakers in the ceiling. So if you are entertaining, that music does follow you regardless of which room you're going to this house. But take a look guys at the garden area behind me beautifully manicured and it really does nail home that French feeling of living in this house now on my left hand side we need to talk about the pool area and this pool area is not only fully enclosed by these stunning glass balustrades but also has one wall dominated by greenery with this shrubbery going around the whole bit of it and then I have to admit the pool color and its tiling really does match the look and feel of this home then passing through this orchid of trees we find ourselves smack bang in front of not only a beautiful sculpture but also a pond area with its very own dedicated fountain if we loop around the fountain we get to enjoy a morning an afternoon an afternoon or even an evening stroll through 
this small hedge maze, enjoying the roses, enjoying the trees, and enjoying the dappled sunlight that gets to fall at our feet. But we have summed up the outside area, and we'll come here once more to say our goodbyes, but let's go inside, let's take a look at the second, and should I say, the more formal sitting room area, and then let's take a look at those bedrooms. Now, taking our journey back inside, we get to once again pass a stunning dining room area, and I love how it is surrounded by greenery, but sometimes you just want to sit down, you want to relax, you want to relax with friends, you want to relax with family, maybe you even want to relax on your own, and this is the formal sitting room area and that's exactly where you're going to be doing that. This area is no doubt dominated by this beautiful and beautifully framed gas fireplace above us again all of that down lighting with the speakers built into the ceiling and so much space here not only it having its very own unique wallpaper and feel because of that but space for you to do with this room as you'd like i very much like how they've included all the windows in the sitting room area letting in that natural light and you also have not one but two sliding doors potentially letting you into that patio as well depending on how you'd like it styled now that we've covered this formal sitting room area we move off onto the bedrooms. But before I do that, I'd like to talk about this really cool hidden design element that this home has, and that's that all the pocket doors are framed in glass. So if you are closing off an area or a room for privacy, or should I say for noise, you really have that beautiful openness that this house has, and I love how it's set out, and I specifically like how all the bedrooms are framed off from the rest of the house. This pocket door separates not only the staircase, but the only downstairs bedroom. And then we come up to this door. Now this door is one of the doors that lets you access your garage. This home comes with a three car garage, but right now it's time to talk about this bedroom. The first bedroom that we've seen, as I've mentioned multiple times, we went from tiles to dark wood floors, and that matches your dark wallpaper that surrounds this room above us, a fan. So much space here. It has space not only for a large bed, but all your other accoutrements right here we have two chairs and a table right in between showing you the size and the room for this home and the room for your own design choices tv mounted to the wall so you know all the necessary plug points are right there and then i love the fact that two out of the four walls are covered in plantation shutters letting in so much light but also giving you access to fresh air but the other wall also has some really cool things to talk about one is behind this door you have a fully equipped walk-in closet you don't need cupboards here because it is a walk-in closet that you can shut off from the rest of the house and then right behind me is an ensuite bathroom it's time to take a look this ensuite bathroom has your toilet set off in the corner behind the door, then a fully enclosed glass shower with a rainfall shower head. You've got your single vanity off in the corner with your freestanding sink, Caesar stone countertop and open storage just below it. And now coming back around the corner, we find ourselves face to face once again with this marble staircase leading us upstairs to the enclosed area that houses the other three bedrooms. Follow me, let's take a walk up these stairs and let's take a look at what these bedrooms have to offer. Coming up to a landing, we see just how high the roof is still even on this landing. We've got all the space for artwork, but also right above me is another skylight. I love the fact that there is light on this staircase and that's also provided from a small window there that's covered in plantation shutters. And here we are right at the top three bedrooms this upstairs area houses, but these bedrooms also come with built-in security. Just off to my left, you'll press this button and off we go. You've got a roller door that shuts off the staircase from the rest of the home. And there you go, it is all the way down and left you fully enclosed and fully safe, although right here in Hyde Park, security behind not only a secure and 24-hour manned cul-de-sac, which this house is located, but off a secure and boomed off road is really not something you need to worry about. Let's put this right back up. I have to admit, it does look pretty cool sliding down and coming back on up, but follow me. Let's go straight through to this first bedroom. We'll then head to the second and lastly, as usual, the creme de la creme, the master suite right here, 18.9 million rand home. We're not playing private property. We're not playing. And here it is, the first bedroom. As you come through the corridor on my left hand side is beautiful gloss white cupboards. And this bedroom right now is dedicated solely as office space. It makes a perfect office. It is the perfect size for an office. Just above me, we've got a fan. We've got all the speaker system up in the ceiling. And then we've got these plantation shutters letting in all the natural light that you might need, keeping you awake, or maybe even giving you a stunning view of the starlight. And I must admit, from this room, as well as from the patio, the views of Santon City is nothing to scoff at. This office space slash bedroom space, however you'd like to use it, does come en suite once again. On my left-hand side is the bathroom. Let's take a look. Now, this bathroom is beautiful. The first thing I like about this bathroom is that we've got this standalone sink 
as well as that floating Caesar stone countertop. I've also got my scrubber right over here, but we'll take that out of frame. Now we've went from white wood flooring, should I say, into this beautiful tiling of the bathroom. And then we've got behind me what definitely dominates the frame is this freestanding bathtub. But maybe you don't want a bath, maybe you feel like something different. You've got a walk-in glass enclosed shower just in front of me. And then where you guys are currently standing is a floating toilet, hidden system, soft closed toilet, nothing but the best. I'm going to grab my sponge, you guys are going to follow me because it's time for the next bedroom. And now with one bedroom ticked off, we are off to the next. And here we are within the second bedroom. On my right hand side, access to another walk-in closet, beautiful white gloss cupboard space. But on my left hand side really has to be the selling feature of this room and that is the views you get out of these two sliding doors. And not only views, these sliding doors open up that are behind these plantation shutters right here and give you access to a private balcony that has those unobstructed views of Santon City. Now this room, much like the rest of the rooms in this house, has its unique wallpaper. You can see the flare here is definitely catered to children. I love that it's been done in this way and many of the new owners definitely would like or appreciate that feature as well. And underneath your feet is this pale wood flooring really contrasting well with not only the ceiling but the white walls and cream plantation shutters. But right now we need to head off to the right hand side and take a look at this walk-in closet that is exceptionally generous for a room that isn't even the master suite. Now this walk-in closet again is decked out on two of the four walls with cupboard space reaching all the way up to the ceiling and this is the only way for you to access the next ensuite bathroom. Your ensuite bathroom this time again comes with its own unique flair. We've got plantation shutters off to the left hand corner, again another floating toilet with its hidden system, your single vanity, freestanding sink and beautifully large mirror above it and again that Caesar stone countertop that holds the sink and then both access to a bath which is also freestanding as well as a glass enclosed shower should the mood strike you. With two bedrooms down, that leaves us with the last one, the creme de la creme, the master suite, and this home definitely has a lot in store for us with that. But here we find ourselves in another atrium area. We're so used to talking about down lighting, but above us, with this arched ceiling, we actually have up lighting. We've got lights shining up into the arch, giving you that feeling of depth and really making this place somewhere special. On my right hand side, beautiful double doors leading out to an outdoor patio above me, up lighting, framing the arched ceiling. And on my left, a front row seat to this stunning chandelier. And now it's finally time for us to explore this beautiful outdoor patio. Throughout iron railings all the way around and really framed off behind this shrubbery. It's not often we find shrubbery on an upstairs patio, but this patio does have it. And it's not the only thing this patio has. You've got your own fountain right here, letting you fall asleep to the melodic dripping or pouring of running water. A lot of you guys are huge fans of white noise and you've got a built-in white noise generator right here. And then as I mentioned, really beautiful views specifically down that way of Santon and the rest of Hyde Park. And then you've got all this tree front giving you the privacy you might need when enjoying this balcony. And now it's time guys for the creme de la creme, the master suite, the crowning jewel of this stunning home right here in Hyde Park. And behind these sliding doors right here is where it lay. Let's take a look. And here it is, the master suite. And you know you're in a master suite when it looks like you've walked into a small apartment in Santon. And this is only one room in this stunning house right here in Hyde Park. As you can see, I'm standing in the lounge area or the pajama lounge, I might say, of this master suite. We've got some couches as well as armchairs dotted about your coffee tables in the center because who doesn't like to enjoy a coffee right there in the comfort of their own bedroom? But yeah, this has to be its sweet spot, the crowny jewel of this master suite, I might add, above a TV and below another one of those really awesome gas fireplaces. Can you imagine waking up in the morning, stretching out of your four poster bed and bang, the fireplace turns on? That right there is the lap of luxury. Above me, one fan, another fan just above the lounge area. And over here, we've got a California king size bed that is dwarfed by the size of this room. The whole ceiling is bulkhead, again, with that up lighting flowing into the bulkhead, really emphasizing the arch of the ceiling. And then dominating one wall and a little bit of the other are windows with all those plantation shutters. Again, letting in all the light you might need or giving you whatever amount of privacy you might need as well. Now, on my right hand side, another walk-in closet again no master suite is complete without a walk-in closet but before we get to this closet and before we talk about the bathroom behind me this master suite comes with something that many others don't and that is its very own internal office area 
And right over here to the right of the fireplace, we find this quaint office area that is perfectly equipped for you to do your work without leaving the comfort of your room. On my left hand side, we've got a whole wall dedicated to cupboard space, all of them long cupboards with some three quarter cupboards just where you guys are standing. We've got an inbuilt desk right over here, as you can see the Mac computer just above it. You know you're doing some hard work and hard design work when you've got a Mac. And then some extra storage space right over here in case you need it, maybe for some filing cabinets, maybe for another desk. Both walls have those built in windows, plantation shutters, and then another really cool feature is just there, just above where you are, if the camera tilts up, is you'll see a skylight. But let's head on out and let's take a look at that walk-in closet. Now for some features that we can talk about as we walk to the closet is again this room, like the rest of the rooms, do come with built-in speakers, but also it has access to its central air conditioning system. But right now, it's time for the closet. Now your walk-in closet of this master suite runs almost the length of the room. You can see just how large this closet is with every single wall dedicated to cupboard space. And just on the other side or on the opposite side of this walk-in closet, we've got glass display cabinets as well as drawers for you to show off all your best fashion choices. Again, this room, just like the rest of the bedroom, has got access to its central air conditioning system. So you're never gonna need to worry about getting just a bit too toasty while you're getting ready for any fashion show that you might be running. But now that we've talked about this, and now that we've talked about that bedroom, it has to be time for us to walk in to your ensuite master bathroom. And here it goes, it is time because this master suite has some of the coolest features we've ever seen above us. We've got your speaker system, so if you'd like to listen some, to some music while you're relaxing in your jacuzzi tub, you can. This jacuzzi tub is just underneath, again, another window, so you can get a bit of a view while you enjoy the jets of water spurting out of this. On my left-hand side, we've got a pocket door that gives you some privacy from the toilet area, again, another floating toilet with hidden system, and right over here, a double vanity, plenty of under counter storage with cupboards flanking both the left and the right of that floating vanity. And then in front of me is the crown jewel of this bathroom, in my opinion, and that is this really unique steam shower. You can see the shower is fully enclosed and arches around this opening of the wall. You've got two heads and then both your separate faucets so that you and your partner can shower in your perfect temperature. But what makes a steam shower so cool is it comes with a control panel for you to not only set the temperature of the steam that's pumped into the shower, but you to also control the steam itself. It has a window there as well. So when you do want to just Get all of that steam out there and enjoy some fresh air you can. I think it's such a cool feature and it's so nice for you to be able to have a full-on spa day right here in this home. But that does sum up this incredible home right here in Hyde Park. It's time for us to go jump back onto that balcony, talk about the pricing and talk about how you can become this home's next owner. And here we are back outside of this 18.9 million rand home right here in Hyde Park. This home is four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms and is offered on the market by Grounded Property. All of the agent's details will be on screen right now as well as in the description of the video. Contact her and schedule a viewing so you can see the charms and the beauty of this house for yourself. But that is a wrap from myself, Chad Viveros, from the team at The Home Shopper Show as well as everybody at Private Property. Thank you so much to all of our viewers for tuning in once again and watching us tour some of the most incredible homes around South Africa. Guys, if you're looking for a home yourself, visit privateproperty.co we are South Africa's most loved property portal and we have every single home across South Africa, big and small, in every single area, in every single shape or size. That is www.privateproperty.co.za. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next Monday or next Friday with another episode from the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you and goodbye.